Well, you've seen a lot of state signs go by. Not my usual way to get to the cabin. That's where I'm headed right now. I uh, was out visiting the relatives in Michigan. Wanted to stop at the cabin on the way back for a couple days. GPS took me to Indiana, Ohio, and through with the end of PA around uh, Erie, and then up into New York. Stopped here to rest up. I think it's Lake Chautauqua, if I got the name correct. And so I'll be driving a little bit more on this and then dip down back into PA, northern PA, up in the tier counties and coming at the cabin from a different direction. So stay tuned for the next couple of days. Not going to do too much up there. A few things, hopefully enough to keep you interested. Now in Potter County, one of the big three-tier counties of north central Pennsylvania, always famous for its deer hunting. Stopped in... Uh, Olean, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, New York. Got some gas, a little water, and some ice, and I happened to see a uh, six pack of beer to look interesting, so I just happened to pick that up. Went to the cash register, so the guy actually carded me. And at this point in my life, I think it's more of an insult than uh, something to be flattered at. And I asked him if he was really, and I dropped the F bomb on him if he was kidding me. And he no, I have to look at it. He'd be like, well then, I think you shouldn't have sold to that 17-year-old uh, that you did a few weeks ago now that you got a car to everybody, you idiots. But we'll take this nice ride through Potter County. Grand Army of the Republic Highway. As you can see the sign for Wellsboro, 30 miles. We're outside of Wellsboro, this side of it, so it shouldn't be that far, really. We're like 20-something miles, 25-ish. Should make good time here. This is a great motorcycle ride for those that you that ride bikes. Uh, Route 6 up through Pennsylvania, north tier of Pennsylvania, is one of the famous just motorcycle rides to take if you happen to be a rider. So uh, if you are, look into it. You may enjoy it. Rolling into the town of Gaines it means we're getting close. Still sold and paid for the fishermen. Well, there's our mountain right there. We just have to get up top. Not gonna do too much tonight. Just relax with a little pizza and beer. Left at about 7.45 this morning. It's now about quarter after four. Got eight and a half hours to get here. Not bad. A uh, little stop on the way home. It is, what is it, Tuesday? Tuesday afternoon. And I'll probably leave early on Friday morning. So I have Wednesday and Thursday to mess around a little bit. Uh, real reason I want to work on that generator enclosure a little bit and see what I can do and that's about the biggest thing that I want to do I'm gonna hang around the cabin for the most part uh, take my feeder down I may do that this afternoon got some throw and grow some of that seed that cheap cheap kind of stuff that uh, you're supposed to put around your uh, tree stand so I'm gonna put it out in the field over here I got it at Walmart when I was in Michigan for like nine bucks so if it grows, great. If it doesn't grow, not a big deal. Didn't spend a lot of money on it. Not like I bought clover for $45 a bag or anything like that. So uh, that's about what's in store. As I said earlier, a little pizza tonight and some beers and a pipe is about the big thing for tonight. Get settled in. Don't really have anything at all to take out of the car. Here's our ring. Still doing good. One weed growing in it, but that's not bad. It actually looks pretty nice. I kind of really like how that uh, Mike and Sean did a good job on this. Uh, I, I like it. A little bit more to do, but uh, it is certainly a good start. Here's our enclosure. Uh, not sure what I'm going to be able to do, what I'm not going to be able to do. Looks like a little bit of a bend in there. I have a feeling the squirrels were pulling on that. I think that's what they were doing. Oh gosh, I hope they didn't do any damage in there. Here's the salt blocks. As you can see, they're melding 
as the rain hits it, the lid blew off. We've put stones up on top of it, but it doesn't seem to stay, and I don't know if a bear's knocking them off or not. I'm trying to see what's inside of it, but uh, you can see the hole that they've been digging. So you know they've definitely been after that. So it did what it's supposed to do, and there's not much left in there. I do want to take our feeder down. Just want to make sure that we don't have any issues with, hey, you guys had a feeder going over there well into the season, when even though I know it's empty, or there might be just a teeny bit left on the bottom. Dump that and uh, get that thing put in the shed or where, wherever it's going to go. Well, just enjoyed the pizza out here on the deck. Beautiful, beautiful evening. Uh, about low 70s. This is really perfect. Sit out here. Got that feeder down, and that's one one thing out of the way. While I was doing that, saw a couple deer up on the other side of this clearing up this way. Couldn't tell what they were, but uh, if I had to take a guess, I'd say they were probably a couple doe. Always nice to see a deer or two when you when you come up. Settling back with a nice pipe. I have the Cornell and Deal Mountain Camp. Absolutely apropos for what I'm doing right now. Latakia Perique blend. Nice English Scottish blend. Pretty good taste to it. You gotta chase that with a Dale's All Day IPA. I read an article on these and they're called stove pipes. If you haven't seen the big 19 and a uh, 19.2 ounces. Uh, as far as liters go, I don't know how much that is. 560 milliliters. Read a little article on them. Said they're becoming popular uh, because of people going to events, sporting events, and of course bottles are because we as humans have to feel like we have to throw a, a, a heavy object at somebody for some strange reason. But they become very popular at sporting events and they're growing in popularity all over. Several different breweries, of course Dogfish does the big one too. Uh, a couple others that I've seen that are doing it. But I, I, I really like the big boys to start off with. Uh, just because these are basically a beer and a half, a little over a beer and a half. And what I usually do with a beer when I open it, well, half of it's gone in about 30 seconds because you're thirsty and you drink it down. This way, I have a nice beer left. Same reason. People want to buy these at, say, a sporting event, and they have a little bit more than a single beer or just a cup of beer that sometimes you barely get 10 ounces in. This way, they feel like they've gotten a big beer. Maybe they can buy two of them, take it back to their seat. They don't have to worry about getting up, missing any of the action. Dale, or a fan, did I say Dale's? I think I did say Dale's. Founders, uh, all day IPA. Sorry about that, Founders. So I'm just gonna sit here this evening, have my version of a cold camp, which basically to me is don't start the generator up. And I'll, I'll probably do that tomorrow, but for now, quiet so enjoy a nice pipe nice IPA and uh, I'll catch you in the morning well had a good night's sleep last night went to bed early you could just basically hear acorns falling throughout the night is, is all I could hear great night and over here just some coffee a little uh, sausage sandwich it's gonna be a uh, sausage cheese and a bun so that'll be breakfast. Well, if you listen a little bit, the old rain following us to the cabin has happened again. But there's, sometimes there's just nothing you can do. The forecast for days was sunny today, and then you kind of get this. But that's all right. It's supposed to, I think, only last for a little while. So I'll just stay in the cabin, have my coffee, and maybe do a couple things in there. Have a few things from Hobby Lobby to hang up on the wall some of the miscellaneous bric-a-brac type stuff uh, that makes a cabin kind of fun to go to and looks good, deer and a moose and etc. So I'm gonna, again I'm going to drink uh, some of the coffee. This is a Yeti. This is the one I got at the uh, NWTF uh, meeting that we had down in uh, I think the Mid-State Club and purchased it, had tickets inside. The tickets is how I ended up winning that Browning game camera. Uh, I kind of 
put the sticker on and uh, use some of the vinyl graphics to get the Yeti to stand out a little bit and then put a little bit around the bottom. I like doing that kind of stuff with the vinyl graphics to see what I can put it on. Uh, do you need to do that? Of course not. Sometimes you just want to do something and that's, uh, that's what I like to do. I like to see what I'm able to do with it. I've done a few things. And I think during the uh, deer camp trip I may give away a couple things that I've mocked up with uh, some, some camo tape. Not the greatest stuff in the world. I try not to get too excited about it, but I'll give you more details of that and show you what uh, I'm going to give away. So for right now I'm just going to go finish this coffee. Uh, sit down in the cabin, I got a magazine I can read, make a phone call or two, whatever, and just wait the rain out. Well, the rain did quit, partly cloudy, not too bad out today, temp temperature-wise. Was able to get the front door on. Now, at least we're that far. I know it doesn't seem like much. But uh, it took a while to figure it out, see what I wanted to do. Put some, I don't know, about five, six pieces of tr extra trim on. Uh, I do want to put some trim around here so it covers up these, uh, this little opening in here from the outside. It'll just kind of, it'll just go flush right up against it. Uh, that'll be good. Get this r little ramp put in and uh, we'll be all set. Um, of course, the roof's got to be done and the possibly a couple more things on the inside but uh, I'm happy with what I got finished and I think I'm going to get cleaned up a little bit take a ride into town pick up uh, something to eat and put it on the barbecue have a nice relaxing evening now put a little steak on have some avocado got a little cramps today from doing some things so Get that potassium and the uh, avocados will hopefully help that. Syntex was up here this summer. Didn't do a video on it, but uh, I have a little bit of footage we'll see in a second. Uh, he was up here with Trail Killer and another friend. They had a, a bit of a, a bachelor party weekend for his buddy. Brought up a little tannerite, and tannerite is always fun. When you crack out the tannerite, maybe an AK. So uh, let's take a look and see what he did. I heard some debris hit back here, just, just a little bit. Look, all the way up, all the way up to the middle, the board oh. flew off. Oh, I might get it. This, this is how I get it. Oh, wow. Destroyed that shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. That, that debarked it, if you will. I love it. See the orange piece come down? The orange one's just not falling. Firewood. America. That's right, Frank. That sure looked like fun. And coming up here and blowing a few things up and loud noises and etc cetera, etc cetera. and of course no harm to anybody by doing it the chairman had a nice summer took a little vacation i think it was lake ontario with a few buddies of his and got out on the water actually reeled in some nice ones look at uh, one of the ones that he got crack it offline One more jump for the camera.
There he goes. At the boat, cracking offline. No offense. There he is. Bring him home. Yeah. Nice one. Another healthy slob. Yeah. That's where he is. Oh, oh came out already. Dude, that's fat, man. That's Mike, take a picture of him. I want to still keep this up. Keep it. Nah, dog, he's the hook. He's the hook. Dude, he's too heavy. I need the kill plate. Are you lying? Yeah. I don't want to bleed all over this place. Oh, shut the f up. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, in the box, bitch. That's a sure, nice looking fish that he reeled in. I know he had a lot of fun up there with his friends. Great time this summer, but uh, as summer fades into fall as it is. I'm at the last few days of summer right now. Uh, everybody sort of starts to, to think about the hunting and leaves turning and Halloween and uh, really one of my favorite times of year, fall into winter is really my favorite times. Uh, so we'll be getting on that soon. And uh, uh, I know we'll be having a great time up here I think Eric and I may try to get up uh, some bow season. Eric will do it. I'll just here for support. And then, of course, into our deer camp 2018, as we always look forward to. So I'm going to continue to cook this steak for a little bit. What character do I identify most from the TV show The Office? I guess it'd have to be Creed. Just enjoyed that great steak and avocado. And... Time for a pipe and a beer on the deck. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon, evening. Uh, so, great temps. Uh, I mentioned before about the, the metal style beer cooler. Uh, I think this is a Walmart job, but you can get whatever kind you want. Little tip for you, hot summer day, you're gonna be outside. Throw an ice cube or two in the bottom of this thing. Give it five, six minutes, and then throw your beer in. I got some Joe IPA from Ten Barrel Brewer Brewing Company, Oregon. Just happened to pick it up while I was in Michigan. Saw it. Eh, hey, yeah, I'll give it a try. I like the Indy Pale Ales. I know some people do, some people don't. But uh, all wrapped up in the uh, koozie or whatever you want to call it. Cooler koozie. Metal thing. Pretty good. I have my Dracula, my Peterson Dracula with me today. And while I was out in Michigan, I stopped at the Corona Smoke Shop, bought a couple different tobaccos. This one happens to be Black Silk that I bought. Pretty nice uh, pipe shop out there in Battle Creek. Again, the Corona Smoke Shop. For those of you out that way, like cigars, they do have some pipes, more than some pipe shops do, or smoke shops, uh, but of course, great selection of cigars, and again, I'm not used to it in Delaware, but you just smoke right in the, right in the shop, which um, again, I, I am definitely not used to. Uh, not allowed to smoke in any type of establishment in Delaware, but hey, we're out in Michigan. We do like the Michigan do still. So, sit here with my Dracula. Black silk. Those of you that know, you always got to light your pipe twice to start out with. So that is about it. Going with the hot camp tonight, or the generator. Probably watch a movie. Uh, a couple hours worth, and that's about it. Pipe, beer, movie later, and I'll catch you in the morning. Well, had a great night last night. Had a couple more beers. Watched the movie Kelly's Heroes. For those that you remember that, uh, Clint Eastwood, Telly Savalas, Don Rickles, Ellie Gould. Uh, funny, some laughs, some action. Uh, that's just a nice night. Uh, cool. Got down to about 50-something outside. 
Uh, so it was pretty nice, nice in the cabin, good sleeping. Out today in the field, gonna put up the throw and grow. Again, this is the, the stuff they say you can put around your food plot. It just lasts a year, it, or probably it'll really just last this fall. It does a quarter acre, which should just be just about right here. I'm gonna kind of go thick a little bit on it, just so I think it takes. Who knows if the birds are gonna eat a little bit of it too. So just gonna walk around, do this and uh, then get on to the, finish just a couple more pieces on the generator, uh, a couple of things to hang inside, a sign and stuff like that, and, and then I think I'm gonna do dinner down at the Wellsboro house again, down in town. When I've been out walking around today and mentioned I heard on the roof the other night, uh, a lot of acorns coming down. Now, this is just a real small spot right over here where we got oak trees all over the place, of course. So it looks like we're going to have a pretty good acorn crop this year. And that is good for us because there is not a lot, a lot of agriculture around here. So sometimes the deer are farther away, but then as the season progresses and they start switching to their, their own natural forage. Uh, they come up here for these acorns and they come up to the top of the mountain for that. So, good sign, hoping for the best. And uh, of course, like everything, we'll have to see what happens. As far as I think as I'm gonna get this time, still have the roof to do. Of course, that's uh, gonna be on a hinge also, so we can get in there and fill it with gas easily. But the door is about done, framed out, and put a little trim work on and around. So hopefully the creatures will stay out of it. Come on around the back here. Put this door on here also. This is our exhaust door, total exhaust door of our muffler and everything coming out. And I've looked for some things and I know that a lot of the guys have said hey try this and but uh, this is as far as I'm gonna go because this is still gonna it's not gonna stay in here permanently so I did put this door on hoping to keep uh, mice and critters and everything out of it one of the things I want to do next time is bring up some styrofoam some insulation type styrofoam maybe some of the silverback type stuff and put it in there and I think uh, on the inside uh, that should definitely help with the noise but let's go start it up and see how much of a difference there is. I'll open this up for venting. get that insulation on the inside, something more of a permanent roof, I think we should really start to get there, get those DBs way down. Well, that's certainly better when it's off. Slow, slow project. Now it's about noon. I clean up all my stuff over here, all my uh, drill and toolbox and everything like that. And then uh, go in, hang a couple signs up inside, put my feeder uh, away and get cleaned up and head into town. Cleaned up after lunch. Time to hang a couple things up. I just put this up. This is a, a Hobby Lobby thing. Have a couple signs, state boundary lines that somehow came into our possession. I, I have no idea how. Here we go. A couple quick things up. Well here's one last thing. I'm in my bunk. I have a uh, state wildlife sign. This is actually for Delaware. One of uh, buddies gave it to me but I'm gonna put it over here in my bunk. This right here. This is something that I made back in 1995, yeah, I got my initials and my, the date on the back. 
Pennsylvania Game Commission was selling these tags, old metal tags, and uh, they came with one non out of state and one resident the matching. And uh, I made one for senior, one for myself. I took the out of state one because I was in Delaware by that time. And I gave this one to senior. I actually took 30 out six shells, cut them down, sanded them, grinded them down, I guess, and uh, have that as the uh, uh, holding the plate on there. So that was something from 1995. I'm gonna put it back up here, but I'm gonna move it around a little bit. There we go. And put that up. So, yeah, I guess I'm done for some of those other little indoor projects. Pretty nice right now. Gonna go out on the deck and sit there for a bit and uh, drive into town about uh, five ish or so. Go get some dinner. I'll we'll stop here at the Wellsboro house. I suggest if you're in town, uh, that might be a place you want to stop and get some a burger and fries and maybe a beverage. Pretty good place. A little off the beaten track, but uh, right out of the main town, but not far at all. It's only just a, a minute from downtown. Back from the Wellsboro house, opted for the Philly cheese steak instead of a cheeseburger. Uh, very good. Had cheese whiz in it, which tasted better than you think. It was actually pretty good and very filling. I really didn't quite finish all of it. So if you happen to be in the Wellsboro area, I recommend stopping into the Wellsboro house. Check online, see when it's open, because I know it didn't open until 5 o'clock today. So I think during the week it doesn't open until later in the day. Opted for the, I guess you want to call it indoor campfire today. Got the candles going. Just going to sit back here with the uh, Four Mile Brewing uh, Pale Ale. That's the one that uh, I stopped in New York, same town, that uh, I got carded in, which is uh, still hard for me to believe. Into fall, starting on Saturday, just a couple days away. And it'll probably be fall by the time you see this video. But we have Delaware muzzleloader seasoning opening up for a week. And uh, then we probably be up here. I'll be up here with Eric. And he'll be bow hunting and I'll be kind of playing the supporting role and just coming up and bumming around. And then on to Delaware deer season. Uh, it's usually about uh, the end of the first week or so of, of November. That'll start and then right into Pennsylvania deer season. So a busy time for the next little bit. A great time of year. Temperatures come down, humidity drops a little bit, and I know everybody likes this time of year. So I'm going to be uh, kicking back with my cabin campfire, and uh, the rest of the evening I'm going to take off tomorrow morning. So this is White Rook 85. I'll catch you next time.